Hi and welcome to a Vox Commando tutorial. We're pretty excited to have finally released the alpha of Vox Commando version 2. So I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about installing it and using the new speech platform recognition engine, which is one of the two engines that we can choose from in Vox Commando version 2. So first thing you'll want to do is download the installer, which you can grab on our forum under new features and feature requests version 2 alpha. We have a thread here and probably a good idea to read this post. You can grab the download from our Dropbox using the link at the bottom of this first post. And you should absolutely follow this link to the wiki where we talk about version 2. Specifically on version 2, we will also talk about the Microsoft Speech Platform. If you follow this link, it'll tell you how to install the Microsoft Speech Platform. So uh, first off, I'm going to, I have a blank folder here on in J Vox Commando, and I'm just going to run the installer here that I downloaded from the forum with all default choices. And I'll click launch. Now this speech platform is disabled because I haven't yet installed the runtime and the languages that language packs that I need to use speech platform. I could still run Vox Commando in standard mode, but that's not what we're going to do today. So I'm going to exit out of here and. I should point out that it's not a good idea to switch back and forth between the regular speech recognition engine and the speech platform engine. So if you are doing an install and you want to use the speech platform, you should probably delete whichever executable you are not planning on using. And if you want to create a shortcut on your desktop or something with the one that you will be using, you can go ahead and do that. When I try and run this now, I will get an error message saying that the speech platform runtime is not installed. And there's a handy link here to the wiki article on the speech platform and it tells us where to go to get the files that we want to install. So the first thing we need to do is to install the speech platform runtime version 11. You can grab that off of our Dropbox or if you prefer you can get it directly from Microsoft. And if you do that, be sure to select the x86 because Vox Commando is a 32-bit application. Download that, put that on your hard drive somewhere. The next step is to install the language packs for whichever languages you want to use. There are many variations of English. There's a, an Australian, and an Indian, uh, Canadian, American. And then there are many other languages. There are 26 total um, language packs that you can choose from. So there are probably at least 18 distinct languages and then there are some variations. So you'll want to follow this link to Microsoft. I'm not hosting these files because there's too many of them and I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to distribute them. Follow this link to download runtime languages from Microsoft. Ignore the fact that it says language English. If you click download here, you'll have access to all the different language packs. And at the top of the page, we have all of these files, which are Microsoft speech recognition installers. And down at the bottom half, there are a whole bunch of free text to speech engines that you can install as well. I happen to, for English, I happen to quite like the uh, Great Britain Hazel voice. So go ahead and select any of the things that you want to install here and then download them all. That includes whichever speech recognition engines you want to use. So if I wanted to be able to speak English in an Australian accent, if I wanted to be able to do German, English Canadian, 
Spanish, whatnot. It'll show you what you selected. You click next and you put them all in a folder somewhere. So I've done that. And I've put them all neatly arranged into a folder here. There's also available, if you if you look around, there's a, a runtime language for connect in English, Amer US and Canadian anyway. So you can install that as well. If you want to use the connect microphone, it'll work a bit better than using the regular English language packs. It's tuned to the weird scratchy sound of the connect microphone. So I've put my uh, platform installer here for the 32-bit speech platform runtime. I will accept and install. Once it decides that it's safe, it happens pretty quickly. So the platform is installed. If I go back to my demo, my uh, Vox Commando SP and try and run it, I get a different message now says that it looks like the speech platform is installed, but no speech recognition languages have been installed. So I need to go back here and install some actual engines. So here are some of the engines that I installed. I'll install the English Canadian for our test. And I downloaded a bunch of voices as well. These are the free Microsoft voices. I think I need to wait for this to finish installing before I can add them. So I may fast forward over this part. I'm gonna add a few voices here. So now we've installed one speech recognition engine and a bunch of TTS engines. So we can run Vox Commando SP now. And since this is a, a fresh install, it's gonna ask me what I want to start with. I'm gonna go with Media Monkey for this test. And it's just used the first engine that it found. And it's now telling me specifically which speech engine it's using. Here you can see that it's the um, speech recognition Microsoft English Canadian, and it's the speech platform 11 engine. If I go into options, I can select a specific recognizer from the platform languages. This is grayed out right now. This would be available if you were running Vox Commando using the traditional speech recognition engine. Uh, there's also a link here in case you want to go and grab some more downloads just for your convenience. This is the same page that we were at before where you're able to download recognition engines and TTS. You'll notice there's an extra language here, this Microsoft Lightweight Speech Recognizer version 11. This gets installed with the runtime. It doesn't work as an engine, so don't select it. I'm assuming that it's there for some kind of subsystem that they need. So uh, what else has changed? Well, we have our TTS now is in a plugin form, and we actually have two different TTS plugins. One, the one that will be enabled by default is the traditional desktop TTS with the high quality voices that you may have paid for and downloaded. We also have the option of installing the TTS MS plugin, which will give us access to those, those other free Microsoft voices that we installed. So I'll enable this and restart Vox to show you that. Now under plugins, you'll see that we have the TTS and the TTS MS. If you want to use the TTS MS voices, you will need to change your actions to use the TTS MS command. In the future, I may provide some kind of an override if you don't want to use the regular voices, uh, but you also don't want to edit all of your command tree. Um, maybe we'll come up with some kind of a tool for that. But for now, you, your default TTS actions that will still be using the original higher quality voices. Hello, my name is Paul. So we can pull up the TTS MS plugin as well here.
These are the free voices. Cheers, Governor. My name is Hazel. Do you fancy some chit chat? Hello. My name is Haley. Hello. I am Helen. Pleased to meet you. So on the plugin settings, we also have um, the default output that will be used when Vox Commando starts up. And for most users, I would also recommend that you enable this option so that when you're using TTS speak sync actions, the computer will not be trying to listen to those and interpret them as voice commands. You'll also notice that the Gen XML now only has uh, quick links. There's no link to go to the Gen XML window. That's because everything has been moved out of there and into a plugin. So, for example, Media Monkey is now in a plugin rather than part of the core program. Here you can set your options and generate your XML, or you can, as usual, access the Gen XML through this quick link here. So I'll generate my XML. It'll open MediaMonkey and scan my library. And give me a report on what was done. Same thing if I do it from here. It'll give me a report of what it found, but when using this drop down, it'll also then rebuild my library automatically so I can do some tests. Ignore me. You'll also notice that we have a little banner down here to remind you which version of Vox Commando you're running. So this is the SP speech platform version that we're running. And if you're in trial mode, you'll also have a little banner here showing that you're in trial mode. Pay attention. Play artist James. Who is this? James. Ignore me. This by default has Media Monkey as a prefix, so I can say Media Monkey Stop Playback. Media Monkey Stop Playback. So I've enabled this, I've set this to disable recognition. What song is this? Hello world. So you'll notice here that it's before doing the speak sync, the plugin is requesting that Vox Commando temporarily turn the microphone off. I think that covers everything that we really need to talk about right now for the speech platform specifically. I should mention that again, that the speech platform does not support dictation. So you won't be able to select dictation. This is disabled in the speech platform version. And if you're switching over from the old version and you have commands that use dictation, it will, those commands obviously won't work, but it's recommended that you go and remove those commands or change them into commands that don't use dictation. Uh, we've also noticed that some commands that use large number ranges don't seem to work very well with the speech platform engine. So this, let's try this set volume command. Set volume 50. Set volume 60. So I'm wearing a headset that normally gets extremely good results, usually in the 90% range if I speak clearly. And you can see that we only got a percentage of 56. It's actually understanding the command just fine. But for some reason, the, the way that it's judging the confidence on these commands is incorrect. I don't know what Microsoft did, but they did something wrong. So the solution that we have for this is to go and edit this command and override the required confidence and set it to something lower. And then your command should work fine. 
evaluate this for yourself and see what kind of confidence you're getting on these commands. I do believe that the recognition is still accurate. It's just the confidence number that is inaccurate. So hopefully that will still work out okay for you. It seems to work fine with large payload XMLs. So your artists playing song by name, all of this works fine. It just doesn't like long lists of numbers. So hopefully this will give you everything you need to get started. Thanks again for everyone's support and for your patience waiting for this to come out. I'm sure that there will be lots of bug reports. There will be some confusion. Please post to the, the Vox Commando version two thread on the forum that there's, there's a new category that we've created, which I showed you at the beginning of this video. Uh, so please go to this thread on the forum and uh, give us your feedback. There will be, now that we've broken the ice on this, hopefully we'll be able to move forward with some new features. There are a few new features that I haven't detailed yet. I will try to provide information on those. Mostly they're um, small things and um, bug fixes that we've been applying to both version one and version two. I will continue to do bug fixes on version one, but I won't be adding any new features to version one. I think that I should wrap it up here. This video is getting long. So thanks again and see you on the forum.